Hi, Dave the Airplane Guy here. I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into this. So I've got a Sky Bunny kit and we're going to make one start to finish and I'm going to try and not screw up any more than I absolutely have to. This is one of my favorite moments. We're opening a brand new kit and getting started. The anticipation is just really great. How is this model going to come out? How, how much fun am I going to have putting it together? How am I going to goof it up and have to fix what I did wrong because I wasn't paying attention to the instructions or whatever? It's a Peck Polymers kit from Wind It Up Enterprises produces the Peck Polymer line. They just put the nicest materials and, and this is laser cut. A balsa model airplane is built by laying the plans out on the table. You put a piece of plastic or wax paper over it and you glue the wood together and the plastic or wax paper keeps it from sticking to the plan. You use pins to hold things in place. And then you just follow the plan, glue all the ribs, glue all the stringers. You get that done, you go over and work on the elevator, get those pieces done. And I bent a piece of the wing rib, I broke it. And so I had to make a splint to correct it. I'll give you a close up of the the repair, but that was my first screw up on this airplane. Luckily it was repairable. All right, we are gonna do something special with the decoration of this model. We're gonna have printed words on the wing. And it's gonna look great, and it's so easy to do. Get some regular printer paper, get some tissue, piece of scotch tape, and you tape just one edge on it. And I'm gonna send this through my inkjet printer. I put the words or logo or whatever in the middle not right on the edge. Here's how my words came out. Not bad. So now I got snappy printed words to put on the wings. Okay, so they gave me some beautiful yellow tissue, but I'm gonna make my own color scheme on this. I'm gonna dress it up a little bit. We'll go with red, white, and blue by gum. And we need our glue stick. So you stick the tissue to the framework with glue stick. You can reposition it till you rub it down on there and then it stays. And even then you can peel it loose and move it if you have to. So it's a very forgiving way to do it. And once it uh, dries, it's, it's pretty sturdy. And we're not going to water shrink this because the framework is so light. But we are going to spray it with an art spray. The kind of thing you put, you spray over a charcoal drawing to keep it from smudging. It works great on model airplanes with tissue covering. You can get them in a fancy art store or a craft store. Uh, there's several different brands. I use that fancy Blair stuff, but you can get much less expensive products that work very well also. So I'm trimming around the edges, covering the top and the bottom where I'm supposed to, and then we're going to go out and spray them right after this. Now the bottom is just white tissue. We're not fooling anybody. There's my... Okay, now we're ready for final assembly. You glue the two wing halves together with the dihedral angle in the instructions. Without that dihedral angle, it will not be stable. And it's important to get everything lined up straight. Get that rudder on straight. Get the elevator on not crooked because that'll affect how it flies. Uh, it's important to have everything lined up good. Sand away a little bit of the tissue where you're going to glue the wing to the to wood of the airplane. Because if you glue just to the tissue, uh, the tissue will peel right off and the wing will come off in flight, which is inconvenient. That's pretty straight. Got that all right. Now we're going to do the nose assembly. There's two little brass washers that go on there. See them? And then the prop goes on, and you bend the wire over to retain the prop. You do the same to hold the wheels on. Just bend the wire over, and there we go. And that's your Sky Bunny, Dave the Airplane Guy, signing off.